Yo folks and welcome to the channel. My name is Borg. In today's video, we'll be talking about Solana NFTs, the selective minting process that I'm going into, minting fatigue that I'm feeling, giveaways at the end of today's video. But let's go ahead and jump right into this. First things being are the upcoming releases for Solana NFTs. Now there are a couple of projects that are releasing today, but personally, I may be minting one or two projects right now. It's not a good time to mint. And essentially the reason for that is the market caps are currently down. Seven day volume is currently down. I know it's really shallow to look at NFTs in this perspective, where it's like, oh, Bork, you don't buy when things are down. I do buy, I do mint, I'm just more selective. Now is the time to be very, very picky. Before, everything could be a winner, but now we're releasing like 10 to 20, even upwards to like 30 on crazy times of Solana NFTs essentially coming out because people are just jumping at this opportunity because it's so available for everyone. It's more available than ETH, right? Now, if you actually look at the chart on Solana right here, this is like the stats page, and you go here into Galactic Geckos, huge love to the Geckos, not financial, advice, no promos, no shills, just so you guys know. But right here, September 30th, 31 Seoul, you know, things sort of went down. And then October 1st, something special happened. We'll talk about it later. But 36 Seoul, they started to go up 50 Seoul and then 64 Seoul at October 3rd. If you actually jump right here into NFT floor price, thank you to the folks who made this and you know, shout outs to the turtles. I love the turtles. I have a turtle. But you can see here, October 1st, things went up a little and it went down. And then October 3rd, things went parabolic with turtles selling for like 30 Seoul, right? And the reason why that's so important is if you actually look at other NFTs, for example, the Thugbirds, they were selling at 120 Seoul on October 3rd as well. And you guys are like, whoa, what was special about October 3rd? What was going on there? Well, if you look at October 1st, this was when the number one SMB sold. This is the SMB King himself for 13,027 Seoul. This is what caused people to essentially pay attention to Solana, in my opinion. And they were like, all right, well, we need to understand this before we sort of miss this train. And essentially people were like, okay, we're studying, we're learning. And then October 3rd, things just went nuts because massive FOMO hit and people didn't want to miss out, right? And in some ways, you know, NFTs do not follow like markets or sort of like charts and stuff. It's just something to be aware of. Like what happened on Twitter that caused people to start looking at Solana? This had been maybe one of the triggers. Now, some of you might be wondering, when are things going to go back up? When is the price action going to be positive again? Well, if you're wondering what whales are currently doing, for example, the Steve Harvey account, right here lots of memes in here you know lots of funny people right but steve bought some smbs in fact he bought some stylish studs as well so very interesting right here what's going on and yeah it's something to sort of pay attention to while everyone else is selling whales are essentially accumulating and if you want to be a whale then you know you have to sort of think like one like we talk about right something interesting to take into account for there and another reason as to why lana nfts will probably go back up is because of the news that FTX released on September 30th. They hinted towards FTX official having NFTs on their marketplace. And the reason why that's so important is because this will allow people to essentially buy NFTs with their credit cards. It'll allow for like cross chain. And what if you were always interested in NFTs? Well, now you could sort of look at them from an exchange and not even have to leave the comforts of the exchange because some people like to use one platform and it's probably much easier to sort of interact with NFTs, you know, with little experience just by being on FTX. So this is insane news. I know it's kind of old, but it's something to sort of remember because while essentially like the FUD is sort of flowing in Twitter, why there's like negative like sort of news, there's definitely going to be a point where whales are like, all right, this price point that Thugbirds essentially reached. Once we get to that point, we are going to start buying in the masses, right? We are starting to FOMO. We are going to make this price go up. Essentially just wait for the day where whales are like, all right, that's the price. I believe in this project. I'm going to essentially uplift this. You're just waiting for essentially the time periods where people feel comfortable to do that. And I'm pretty sure the almighty credit card capability that FTX might provide is going to trigger that. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, what do I do until FTX does their thing? Well, some projects have been releasing interesting ones like Meerkat Millionaires, where they have 100% royalties to mentors and holders. And the reason why it's so interesting is because obviously, you know, it involves like securities and whatnot. I'm not a financial financial expert, no laws and legal stuff, blah, blah, blah. The important part to know is that this has been making a very huge like community in the background that's also changing like the Solano NFT experience where it's like, oh my gosh, like these royalties are insane now. Like even Turtles is doing it. By the way, huge love to the Turtles. I own Turtles, just so you guys know again. Like they're doing royalties, but I think, you know, they're doing it in a more gratuitous way. Like it's not 100%, but it's within like a realm that they can sort of do stuff because they're still doing charities, right? They're donating, not to mention they're 
investing in the Solana ecosystem. Like they put 10% of revenue into Dollar Bop. I'm pretty sure they're gonna invest into Dollar Cope as well because you know turtles are like the absolute best. I love the meme game on them. But it's just sort of things to look into, like sort of like these royalty stuff. And I know if you're worried about like securities and laws, maybe not jump into those projects, but these will essentially have unlimited liquidity in the sense that you will always get like some sort of soul so long as you hold on to the project. Not to mention the gods with like, you know, the paper hand tax is coming out. The gods is probably going to be really successful. Yeah, these are like sort of like the reasons why I believe like NFTs will go back up again, even though things are currently down. Just pay attention to what the whale wallets are doing. They're probably accumulating soul in the background. They're probably waiting for FTX to drop. By the way, just because FTX drops like this marketplace, don't expect like things to start going up, right? Things only start going up when whales start moving. That's the thing that you guys need to know. When whales move, the market moves because whales dictate what we do here. So let's go ahead and jump into other things and talk about some unfortunate events where essentially my good friend Nam here, someone stole his PFP, posed as him, and this is the wallet address that essentially stole 45 soul. So if we jump into soul scan right here, you can see like the actual like USD price amount, quite a lot of money. Not to mention this has like a, the God in here. Nothing against the gods. I love the gods like I talk about, but I really hate to sort of see this. We're going to watch this like sort of account, see what happens. I just want to let folks like be aware. Scammers are like essentially coming out and I just want to help my friend Nam because he's an absolute G and I love him. And next thing is being is also like the Rory scam. Like I just want you guys to know like this is happening, right? Because this is a time where people do like really bad stuff and it's just going to keep happening. If you check my discord right here, I've gotten a couple messages of like people just being like, hey, join my discord, join whatever, blah, blah, blah. If someone does this just immediately block them and like don't let them do it all right do not deal like with this stuff where people invite you into discords give you like special links or whatever no one's gonna dm you like a magic like one million dollar button that's gonna get you rich as hell it's not gonna happen just be aware of those scams be like vigilant and just don't touch them on more positive things this is going to be a new thing that the uh, solana nft radar folks and this is going to be public mints right rogue sharks is going to be releasing neo nexus i think the only one i'm going to be minting is neo nexus because i can actually afford it rogue sharks three to four soul i personally do not have enough liquidity by the way this isn't a project that you flip rogue sharks is probably going to be the project that's going to do absolutely insanely well because of how long standing their community is and how much love there is for the shark so do not go into this one thinking it's going to be an easy flip in my opinion it's just probably going to be long-term growth for this one and also the reason why i wanted to take a look at like discord right here is because there's nft radar just keeps like sort of upgrading themselves check out their youtube channel as well because they provide some awesome information but let's go ahead and jump into other things where nobu ninjas is also going to be doing like the release on october 19th 4 p.m est in case you guys are wondering firstly i'm minting this because i love nobu like he's a good friend now i'm not shilling this or anything no promos are like that i just wanted to shout him out because he's been a huge help to me in my journey and i think it's just something to sort of look out for it like you look out for the people who actually talk in twitter spaces you look out for people that you love because when it comes to nfts it's community number one you want to raise those people as much as possible because essentially people will help people who will help people does that make sense sort of like a cycle where you know more positivity will breed more positivity don't get like too like dissuaded like the market's showing red numbers and stuff like that it'll go back up because there's gonna be a demand for solana nfts at least for the next six months but be prepared for you know anything at the same time have liquidity always that way you don't feel like you're gonna be missing out but that's essentially like the rough parts of today's video you know things will go up like we have steve harvey sweeping smbs we have the ftx news that's just on the sidelines just waiting for release and i'm pretty sure the whales are and everyone who's like looking at the salon nfts they want a piece of the pie and they're gonna buy up stuff that they think are deals but let's go ahead and jump into today's giveaways and we're gonna be taking a share link right here and we're gonna go ahead and input this so we can get someone the giveaways whether it's in soul or paypal or whatever so we're gonna go ahead and exclude my so go ahead and put Borkano Crypto. That way I don't win my own giveaway. But let's go ahead and get the YouTube comments. See how many comments there are. There's only 30 comments for this video. And let's pick a random winner who's going to be a winner for today's video. It's going to be D Trong, actual beast in the NFT space. Yo, thanks for that, D Trong. I want to support the people who sort of have been with me since the start. So I'm going to select one of my older videos and we're going to jump right into here, right? And we're going to go ahead and grab this copy this link and i'll do a giveaway i think there's only like five comments for this one right so that way you know the people who've been with me for a while the people who believed in my crypto channel before things started 
to blow up. You guys get reward too. So there's only four comments with this one. Who's going to be the winner on this one? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? And it's going to be Psycho. He's been a long time supporter for my channel. Finally get to give you a giveaway. So I'm super happy for that. Yuppie, I saw you in there. All the folks who were in that video, I see you guys. Thank you so much for like a long time support with everything. But my biggest message while the market is down, essentially just hold, maybe walk away. Don't see NFTs for the next two days. I'm pretty sure there's going to be like insane price points that are going to be happening later on. And just watch what the whales are doing. Watch what they're accumulating and just sort of watch Twitter for any good news. But yeah, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one.